last video of wave one of X-Men Legends. I mean, Marvel Legends X-Men 97. Sorry, got my words twisted up a little bit there. Today, we're looking at Bishop. With uh, short hair. He doesn't have the long hair like in the original. So, we'll take a look at this figure now. Remember when I said that Gambit might be my second favorite? Yeah, I might have changed my mind, actually. I think Bishop might be close. Because this figure is one good figure. I will say this. The, the short hair is nice. I, I, I actually kind of like that. It looks good. It would have been nice to have him just keep his long hair. But short hair is fine. Now, I didn't... I, I watched the show, but I, I, I forgot how big Bishop really was compared to everybody else. Like, he is th thick. Like he has some girth to him. Of course... This is, I mean, figures. He's, he's a good-sized dude, but basically, apparently, he's going to be a part of the main team. He mostly is just in the time-traveling episodes in the original, so I'm interested to see how that plays out. I'm interested to see if they explain why he cut his hair. I mean, it looks good either way, but uh, let's get into the figure. A uh, little handkerchief piece is actually just a separate piece, just glued onto the back. Uh, the paint, very generic, although... Right here, the yellow looks a little different, and of course, if, if you see, there's this. This is yellow. I think this is yellow plastic right here, and they just painted blue with the black line, which is interesting. I'm surprised they didn't do that for. Unless this, this is, you know, I can't tell if this is separate. No, this looks like paint, but you can see it does. It, yeah, you know what, yeah. It might be, I can't tell actually, but now the paint on this good, but that head sculpt, oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Got a little, got a little, although I did have some little dots on mine, which doesn't really bother me too much, but this, this is, this is a beard. I don't know what uh, Gambit and Wolverine have, that's like stubble. And of course, you need to see the hair sculpt, it's got a little spiky hair, it's been like twisted or whatever. And you can see the back, it's smooth and everything. And you can see the holster for his gun with the gun in it. This is kind of just, this is separate. It's just glued in right there, I believe. Uh, his accessories is, and uh, when he, in the package he comes with a, this hand is a fist and this hand is a trigger hand. He comes with two pairs of trigger hands. One for each hand and then he has a gripping hand to hold the gun. Then his, of course, you saw the fist comes in the right hand. And then, of course, his gun. Which I do like the sculpt, although could have probably used a little bit more coloring. It is just hard, soft, gray plastic. Probably could have used some more detail on it. The sculpting is good. I'm just saying it could probably use more color. But, no, it's fine. And of course, it can just... You just plug it into this hand right here, or either trigger finger, if I can get it in there. And he actually does hold it like a regular gun, which is nice. So that is a plus, and you know, he can, of course, how you see the pictures when, they, when the figure was revealed. You have him posing it with it in his hand like this. So you can do that. <clears throat> but yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what Bishop looks like compared to the other figures. Let's just pop that back in the holster. I generally display him with the gun in his hand, so... Yeah. Alright, let's, let's, let's move the accessories out the way. Let's start off with Rogue from the last video. And let's bring in Rogue's favorite person. I might have to scoot back a little bit so I can, so you can see them all. Let's bring in Wolverine. You see the size difference between him and Bishop. Good Lord. And let's bring in Storm. Who can't stand at all. Just like Rogue. And there, there we have, we have, let me just turn the camera a little bit. We have some of the X-Men completed. Obviously, it's not the whole team, we're still missing a few, but 
We will get those soon. And let's bring in the short magneto. He can go right here. God damn, I have to zoom out again. Here's, here's, here's short magneto. Short magneto. But yeah. Alright, uh, let me zoom back, bring it back in. And we'll take all these guys out. And we'll bring in Mr. Sinister. Who who is who is thicker? Although the, the legs and the shoe, they might be the same thickness right here in the legs. Might be. But no, Mr. Sinister is taller. Bishop is quite heavy, though. Very, very quite heavy. Mr. Sinister is heavy because of this, his cape. Look at all that. Might be the mascot of the, of the channel. Just might be. But let's look at his articulation, shall we? Head can go all the way around. He can look he can look up that much. Is this a dumbled or a bulge? I can't tell. He can look down that much. Doesn't have a lot of let me look. Can head pop off? I'm never gonna try that. It can move a little bit. Uh arms can go all the way, but I'd be careful with the little plastic little things on the shoulders. Arm can go that far out. Of course, they literally just glued right here. Like, this comes off. Go forward. Go back. I wouldn't go any farther. Double jointed pinless elbows. So, yeah. He's got the gun pivot hand. The trigger finger. It can, the horizontal. The vertical joint. And this one just has the regular one. Ab crunch. Just move out, move the cloth out the way when you do the handkerchief. He's got a wrist swivel. Legs can go, can't really go back that far, and then go forward that far. Thigh swivel, double jointed, pinless knees. Calf swivel, wrist, I mean, ankle swivel, ankle pivot, I mean. Feet can go forward, back me back that much, and they can go forward that much. But yeah. No. I, I love this bit. This bishop is good. I don't. It's my only bishop. I don't have any other ones. If I had other ones, I would do that. Head swap for the long hair and I see how it looked. And I've seen videos that do it. I think MC, MCU Collector did a video of him doing the head swap. And it looked pretty good. I mean, the skin tones might have looked a little bit different. But I mean, bishop doesn't really change too much. The costume is the exact same. It's just he has a different haircut. That's about it. I know most everybody's used to Bishop having long hair, but I don't mind the short hair. It looks fine. I like the little gun holster. Now, can we get a Forge? That'd be a good figure. But I hope we get a Wave 3, and I hope it has cable. Although, there is that cable from the Zabu Build-A-Figure Wave that I will be picking up when those release. So expect those reviews... And this was the final review from Wave from Wave 1, so expect Wave 2 starting after this video. Today we're here to look at X-Men Leg Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Wave 1 Bishop. And like I said, this is the last one from Wave 1. Expect Wave 2 starting off with, I don't know which figure I'm going to do yet. I might wait to get them all in and then I'll do the reviews for them. But... This figure might be a beating Gambit as my second favorite. Nothing's going to touch Wolverine. But no. But anyways, my cash app is down below. It's in the link in the description if you want to help out with the channel. Along with my social media down there. My Instagram. And I have to update it to put my Twitter. But anyways, you're never too old to be a kid. And, I'll, and anyway, have a good day. That's Crimson out.